Hello everybody and welcome to the Dragon Age Review. It's more thoughts and impressions that I had playing the game. I went through the vanilla campaign, as you would say. I didn't play any of the, the DLC or anything. So just the story about, you know, fixing the blight, getting all the armies together. And what I thought was, long ass game. The combat was, you know, obviously repetitive. There was probably more to go into the tactics than I did, but there was still, you know, it's, you know, use use one, two, three, four, five, or six, and you have three companions with you that also have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, Morgana was the most interesting to play as a wizard, so it had been, you know, interesting for me to play as a wizard. They also seem to be quite OP. Uh, enemies are in difficulty. Let's go with difficulty. Easy, medium, and hard. I started off the playthrough on hard. And I immediately went down to medium because it was just ridiculous. You couldn't let anyone die. If you're playing on hard, you need to save and, like, save scum your way through the game. Because if anyone starts getting injuries, you're not going to make it through the dungeon. You're also going to have to keep equipment up to the top tier. You probably have to have a specific route through the game in general. Uh, medium would probably be less like that. Although there isn't a huge step from medium to hard. Going down to easy, there's a gigantic step. If you just want to casually play through the game, or if you're doing commentary, easy is an extremely easy way to go and do about that. Um, enemies, on the other hand, there are literally bullshit enemies. They will pick you up and they will punch you to death. They will keep you from healing. Stuff like that is ultimately... Like, it, it, it's interesting to see, but without any kind of counter, and the fact that it happens so fast, like, if you, if you get the anti-healing thing, enemies will just knock you down, and you won't, you won't be able to do anything. Alistair has a thing where you can, you know, dispel things, but if he can't cast that fast enough, then it doesn't make any difference. Things that pick you up and kill you, like any dragon does, makes you not want to fight the dragon with swords, which is, you know, realistic, but still, you'd like to go up and, you know, slice at the dragon's feet every now and then, but you can't because you're too scared that they're just going to pick you up and rip you to shreds. And if you have the dog with you, where it's just a melee-only character, it'll be impossible, especially and if you throw away your bows without realizing it before the first dragon battle, it could be, you know, unwinnable. And that, that is poor game design in that part. Other than that, the game design was quite well. Level design is fine. They, I know they re reused a lot of the assets. Uh, the random events, especially on hard, were just impossible. Uh, on easy, they weren't nearly as impossible, but they were still very difficult, and they happened randomly. And every time they did, you were like, ah, it's not fun to go through that because um, the looting system, once you have, you know, I had top tier loot, I didn't need to pick anything else up other than to sell it to upgrade my uh, loot that I had. But of course inventory space kept me from picking up most of the items so I had to pick and choose but there's still loot everywhere. It's a problem that Diablo 3 had which uh, before they patched it where just too much loot and not enough progressive items. Voice acting was rather good. I've ran into a couple of NPCs that was obvious that they, you know, they just got like a guy in the office to do it or something. Or, you know, last minute they're like, oh shit, maybe we should add in, you know, random people saying things. Uh, there wasn't enough dialogue variance in between the, the characters you brought along with you. Like Morgana said, you will learn to fear me. It must have been, you know, a thousand times during this playthrough. You guys didn't see most of that because of, you know, cutting. But still, that is a ridiculous amount of time to hear the same line. It's a problem that, you know, games with lower memory had. But this game didn't have that problem. It was on the PC. It was on the Xbox. They had discs. And they could have put tons of stuff on it. I did run into a problem with, you know, acquiring loot that my companions could use that were better than what they had without having to travel to a different location and search every individual shop. Which, I mean, is, is, you know, it's fairly easy to do, but then you come into those random encounters, and in between each and every, you know, point on the map, if I have to have, you know, one or two random encounters between, it's going to be really sucky. 
I go through each individual point in the map, you'd be trotting along and then swing, and then you'd have to fight a freaking random battle. In total, I think there were maybe six large dungeons. And dungeons are all well and good, mostly, unless they drag on too long and you're doing them consecutively, then the, the whole experience becomes very repetitive. And because there wasn't any, like, you know, new or better loot in the places that you're going, it didn't really inspire you to keep going. Uh, most of the quests were fine. You know, you didn't have any uh, fetching bare asses quests. I didn't do all the quests because I didn't have to. On hard, you might have to do all the quests, get all the XP you can. But on easy, you don't have to do all the quests, and so I didn't. And I ended up with, you know... 20 30 queued quests that I never did. There was a couple random events that if you do a quest and then you know that triggers a an event that can happen and when you're going through and you run into that event, I've found two that would be literally impossible on hard if you run across them in early game. And that can ruin you. I would I'd saved in Denerim and I couldn't get out of Denerim because of this random event and I had to, that's when I switched it to easy and I couldn't keep going and there's, you know, there's uh, on newer PCs I've seen lots of texture glyphs and texture glitches and stuff so I don't know if that was specific to my PC or if anyone else runs into those kinds of things that isn't a pleasant thing to experience while you're playing a game but again this game is very old, new PCs I mean, it was on, you know, Xbox, Xbox 360, for God's sake. In terms of length, this is probably a little bit longer for, you know, an RPG. Normally, you'd spend maybe 30 hours on one. If I can spend 30 hours going through a story, then that would have been great. But in this one, I probably spent 50 hours going through a story. And it was just, a, it was a bit much. By the end of it, I was, I was like, oh, another one of these bad guys. Bad guy variants. There wasn't. You had uh, basically re remodel of a specific kind of character. You had the assassins, you had the the warriors, you had the mages, and then you had the big brutes, and then you had the dragons, which was fine. That all the dragons acted pretty similarly, other than you could literally exploit the dragons. Uh, Flemeth's dragon was harder to fight because it was such a confined place, but there was a point on the map that you could stand and not die. There was a couple boss battles that were rather interesting, and it was worth going through the, the dungeons just to see what cool boss battle there was, but some of them didn't have cool boss battles, and that was the worst. When you got through the entire dungeon and you felt completely unsatisfied. But I will say that I did have fun playing this game. You know, there's a lot of cons, but the fun stuff is, you know, there's good voice acting, it's a good story. The combat, although repetitive, is fine, and you know, when you hit a guy, you really feel like you hit the guy. As long as you don't go into like a, a 30 second thing of you killing an ogre, then it's all well and good with the finishing blows, and I couldn't find a way to turn off those finishing blows. The maps, the maps were almost all different-ish. Uh, the insides of buildings, they all kind of blended together for me. But then you had the forest, you had the cave, and obviously the cave blended with itself, and it was a long-ass cave. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. And if you want to leave a like or comment, you can do so. Other than that, thanks for watching this, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Click.